Oh, dude! Six powers, storm, and heat sinks? What? This is gonna be either very good or very bad. I, I, I kind of can't tell which. Hey, we found a good block card. Costs one less for each power card played this combat. Don't mind if I do. Zippity zappity. It's time for some... Defect Ascension 20. Dive on into a Defect, still one of my favorite characters. Definitely in my top five, at least. In the Spire. Got that starting Lightning Orb. Lightning Orbs deal three damage to a random enemy each turn, and then we can evoke them to do eight. So for starting bonuses, Transform on Defect's reasonable, I think. Not a big fan of potion starts unless you have, like, an unavoidable early elite. We do want to fight a bunch of elites, if possible. Easy to kill late ones here. Looks like this might only be a two elite act, though. Yeah, unless I'm planning on doing this or maybe this, but that's ambitious. So our options are... we could also take a rare colorless card. I think there's a few colorless cards that are pretty good at the start. Um, Hand of Greed, Apotheosis, Master Strategy, The Bomb just to name a few, or the good old get a random boss relic, which I do think the defect adores. Random boss relics in general. What the hey, let's make it spicy. Give me a random boss relic. Oh yeah, yes! Yes, my favorite, the best possible outcome from Niao. A Pandora's box and oh dude! Six powers, storm, and heat sinks? What? What is this? This is an insane Pandora's box start. Let me reiterate that. Six power cards. Chill and turbo. <laughs> oh my lord. This is going to be either very good or very bad. I, I, I kind of can't tell which. Let me update the street command, by the way, because we're actually at two. Just need a bumpy hand and we'll play the full deck on turn one. I think we're almost there already. Yeah, it's definitely going to be one for the highlight reel, that's for sure. <laughs> um, so are we overwhelmingly powerful or, like, what? I, I can't tell. <laughs> really? Let's go into a combat and see what happens. I don't want to go to an early shop. Go to a medium shop. I see. So about that whole blocking thing. Ow. Hey, block from Hello World. Oh man, Hello World is block. Of course. It's the zapping. And I've drawn every card in the deck now. <laughs> There's this is all there is. Okay, so that's amusing. <laughs> Another power. No, I'll take the block card. Charge battery looks great here. We definitely want something that says block on it. Charge battery seems completely fine in that regard. The Blunkening! Ow. Ow. Amazing. Hmm. <laughs> How is this floor two, indeed? <laughs> Asking the right questions. Why is this floor too? We oh, I was gonna say we really need a self repair, but a fairy in a bottle is great. Force field. 
Hey, we found a good block card. Costs one less for each power card played this combat. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. The blanketing begins. So happy with this variant of bottle. That's gonna let us take on an elite or two and not feel so dead about it. Do I take two random upgrades? Yes, I do, because we have no strikes and defends. No matter what gets upgraded, it's gonna be good. Storm and dual cast. Perfect. When will we be able to play four powers? It might never happen. But if we... We cross our fingers. Could be. Could be. Focus, anyone? Would you like more powers in the deck? I would. I would. I sure would. Oh my god, this is, this is the ideal defect deck. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like right here. I... I was thinking about picking up the Flex Potion, but then I realized we have zero attack cards. I cannot possibly benefit from strength. This does nothing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure. I guess we can get attacks from the Hello World, technically. We'll go uh, Fire first. I'll lose some Max Elf to get the Gold Medal. Although that does make the Fairy in a Bottle a bit worse. Because I have the Fairy in a Bottle, I'm going to go ahead and greedily upgrade Defragment. Going into our first Elite Combat here. And I'm going to go ahead and um, probably Explosive Potion these nerds. Take six still. Bang. Decent block. Yeah, I'll take an auto shields. Excellent turn one. We got our Echo Form down for the first time pretty much ever. Let's me get Duble the Defrag. Get him. Not bad. Easy, perfect knob. <laughs> perfect knob fight. We add a bias cognition, yet another power that gains a lot of focus, and an ancient potion to go with it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Amazing. Okay, now we have more focus, too. Notably, though, this nunchaku doesn't actually do anything. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Now we go storm biased chill, surely. Get the echo form. It'll be a short fight. Lousy split, though. We're good.
Okay, we could take another charge battery. Feels like we've got plenty to work with, though, block-wise. I think the auto shields force field charge battery chill is starting to be somewhat consistent block, and I want to make sure we can draw our heat sinks reliably, so I'm going to stop adding cards for now. Do I have to rest before Guardian? Upgrade Biased. Again, continuing to upgrade because of Fury in a Bottle. Let's take one event. Seven health to remove a card. I'll pay that price. I've got health to spare. Let's lose our Zap, I think. Yeah, let's lose Zap. Although that's my only renewable source of lightning. Good. Can comfortably set up uh, Echo Form here. Let's turn. Cool. I'm just gonna play that. Behold the zapping. Get him. Oh my god. Hey, our health came back. Back up to 71. We're offered yet another power. Static discharge. Not quite the powers I'm looking for. This actually works? Oh yeah, it does. Believe me. it. It sure do. It sure do. Really just need one Frost Orb and we're particularly good to go. But honestly, we're going to go to the Guardian fight on 14 health and I think it's going to be fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, shockingly, not a seated run. Ooh. Wait, are we just... Oh. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Rip fairy in a bottle, I guess. And there's the Frost Orbs we need. Okay, yeah, we can fight Guardian with 21 health. I'll probably use the Ancient Potion with the Bias Cog to make it secure, but this is certainly all we were lacking. Now we can upgrade. I'm thinking the Heat Sinks, actually. This will draw me four cards. Amazing. Block for 60. <laughs> Your move. I guess I didn't need that ancient version here, probably. Lord. G nerd. 
Some sweet options here. Seek to let us get our cards down in a better correct order. I like seeking for heat sinks in particular. Rainbow for some more orb generation or a multicast to evoke our next orb X times. Probably going to take the seek here. Just to ensure that we can find the glacier if we need it. To ensure that we can get heat sinks down if we need it. Let's do that. And Velvet Choker limits us to six cards per turn. I think that's a bit of an obstacle in a deck like this, where we can draw so many cards and get so much energy. Sozu is more energy but prevents us from gaining potions, or the Black Star gives us extra relics off elites. I think a Black Star is pretty manageable here. Our deck is absolutely demolishing everything, and piling up the relics will both help us find the ones that are really impactful, as well as massively reward us on average. Only going to be a two elite act unless I go the far right side here, which has no fires whatsoever. It does let us go to an early shop, which I do want to do, otherwise we have to go to a late one after all the elites, and I don't know how I feel about three slavers right now with this deck. We could have a pretty bad turn one. Shame about the lack of upgrades, though. Let's go to this store and start from there. Perfect. So we just go seek for heat sinks. Go sinks. Draw cards. Draw more cards. Draw more cards. Block. Oh, interesting. We can actually run out of damage. Because I have a finite number of lightning orbs. I have no zap, right? Means we have to keep Hello World for now. Or a ball lightning is good, too. Kind of like the fact that we have no attacks, though. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it that way. Sequence is not bad there. I am eyeing this panache pretty hard. Panache is, more than anything else, a zero-cost power, and that is very valuable to us. It's card draw, it's lightning orbs. Pretty good. Good AoE damage as well, if we can play five cards in one turn, which we certainly can. Also some good relics here. I think Potion Belt for more potion slots would be good. Is there anything I want to remove? Not really. This deck is almost perfect. I'm gonna buy a Panache and a Potion Belt. Okay. And that leaves me with enough to buy the Fire Potion to make our first Elite a lot easier with the Black Star. Let's do that too. Although the Power Potion might be equally good. Go Fire Pot. We need a little bit of help with this uh, echo form. Should we play enough cards for Panache? Neko Oil to draw five and randomize the cost of cards in hand. I like Capacitor number two as well. Even more orb slots. Let's do it. More powers, please. And thank you. So, ouch. Better. 
Still not a full block, though. <laughs> Zippity zappity. Lord, this deck is ridiculous. <laughs> right? Let's fight some elites. Knowing Skull, what are you doing here? I don't have health to trade to you. What is it you seek? What is it you offer? In sync with its final words, the door behind us slams shut. You can trade health to this lad multiple times to get various rewards. I think I'll take a potion and then leave. That'll cost us uh, 12 health. Something important to note with the colorless card option here is that this is always a colorless uncommon card. Which is uh, not so good. Can't get any of the colorless powers. Those are all rares. Panacea is an uncommon. So is Dark Shackles. So is Panic Button. But so is, uh, you know, Forethought. Madness. Flash of Steel. Bunch that we don't want. The potion, though. Energy potion's nice. Behind you, mortal. Right, and I'm gonna do three elites. I'm gonna try it. Okay. All we have to do is seek for heat sinks, and this will be fine. Right? Right? Yeah. Be fine. Yeah, that energy potion was definitely worth the 6 health, right? Easy. Okay, we could fire pot. Trying to figure out if we need to. Don't think so. Not with Panache going off like that. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. It's over, Spire. It's all over. The Bird-Faced Urn heals us for two health whenever we play a power card. That is a lot of healing. A lot of healing. A lot of healing. And the Toy Ornithopter for even more healing, healing us five whenever we use a potion. Yurt won't know what's coming to it. Not even close. My god. See, this is why I take the boss swap. It's so good, man. Wild runs every day. Also, some amount of yikes. A snicker whale. It was reasonably worthwhile. Storm became three cost, though. It's okay. We finally get a Reco form in play. I think. Yes, I can.
god. Back up to full health. Hey, the nunchaku did something. <laughs> oh my goodness. I guess you could say we bird-faced earned some hit points back there. Some one viewing. Unfair. We have not even begun to become unfair. Now we have an electrodynamics. And that's gonna be unfair. Lightning hits all enemies. Channel to lightning. That's unfair. You know what? You can just hit me. I don't even care. Both of you. I almost want to just play the echo form, actually. Do it. Hit me! Maybe a decent use for the fire pot. What does it matter? Draw the turbo over and over again. <laughs> Not OP at all. Really should upgrade that turbo soon. Um, now I can no longer do damage beyond these four lightning orbs, but that's fine, we get the win. Oh, I can also do the uh, panache thing, I guess, right? Yeah. Alright, Bag of Preparation is going to reduce the number of situations we take damage dramatically by giving us two more cards to work with on turn one. And if we want, there's also an Overclock to spice things up. That said, I think a Genetic Algorithm Plus is a very good with a Echo form in the deck to double it, potentially, giving us up to plus six block permanently on this card per combat. I think we'll draw that burn a lot with the overclock. Take the algo. Or paint upgrade two random skills. Yeah, absolutely. There's lots of unupgraded skills that I'd appreciate an upgrade on. Turbo is good. Chill is good. Charge battery, force field, or auto shields, all good. Seek especially. Got a glacier and a charge battery upgrade. More block. Perfect. Hey, great salty. Hello, hello. Could be like biased glacier chill if I want a full block, but I think I need to get the storm down. Do it this way. Now I also get the block from Orichalcum, so it's a block for three. Yeah. Only four here. Yeah. Zippity zoopity! I think I failed to play Algorithm here. I guess. Strong guess. Yeah. 
In Motion Ship, if we lose health during our previous turn, trigger the passive ability of all orbs at the start of our next turn. This will be incredibly useful against the heart, if nothing else. Preserved Insect will make future elites nice and easy to kill. Or to multicast again. Recycle could be okay, too. Hey, Berserka. How you doing today? Nah, we'll skip these, I think. The chip can only activate once per turn, Chicken Man Phil, so no matter how many times you take damage, it'll only do the thing once. Okay, this is going to be another short fight, so I'm just going to go ahead and play this the first time we see it. Storm Heat Sinks. Powers? Ridiculous. Let's go one event, just for a chance at uh, Thwack. It's a combat. That's fine by me. Or a Calcum value. Double our genetic here. Like some frost orbs? Seems a little excessive, doesn't it? <laughs> nah, we would never do that. Being excessive. Ridiculous. Turbolam. One turbo we have is good enough. We'll just upgrade it. There's, like, maybe room for a recursion or something. This fight quite yet. I can see double my genetic algorithm. chance at a recycle or a compile driver, I think we're good. 
deck is almost perfect as is. Almost. Whatever, I'll get all the health back anyway, right? Jir, we're doing some regular style Ascension 20 heart runs tonight, which has so far resulted in absolute insanity. Complete chaos, utter madness. Yeah, regular style, indeed. Regular. This is what regular is. Everything is normal. Certainly would not describe any of this as abnormal. Get him a motion chip. Work. Put them in the discard pile. Good. gonna end the turn there prematurely to try to double algorithm. Good. Since we draw four cards every time I play a power. Oops. Just keep drawing and playing turbo over and over again. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> And it's even zero downside, because you just draw the voids immediately. <clears throat> nice. Hell, GG. Get dunked on bronze tomato. Oh my goodness. Um Which one do I take? So on one hand, creative AI is unlimited powers. Generating a new one every turn. On the other hand, amplify is more powers right away. Letting us play our next power card twice or upgraded two power cards get played twice. I really like that Amplify, especially with Seek in the deck. We can double Storms, double our Echo Form, double Heat Sinks, double anything. And it's faster than Creative AI, doing something on the turn of, rather than having to wait until the next turn. Take the Amplify. And let's take some more energy, too. 
Uh, I'm pretty fine with a Slaver's Collar, giving us bonus energy during boss and elite combats. It's not like the regular fights have been a challenge, right? Becomes a dead card? Yeah, but our enemies become dead enemies when we double all of our powers. There's a, a theoretical end state where, yeah, once we've played all the powers, it doesn't do anything, but once we've played all the powers, the fight is over. We have won. There will not be any enemies surviving that. So we could give enemies additional strength. I think this would be a bit concerning. The heart would be very dangerous with Philo Stone. Although I'm happy we have a static discharge. Hey, <laughs> bros, what indeed are you looking at? Believe it or not, this just randomly happened to me. It it does seem a <laughs> it does seem a little ridiculous, doesn't it? Yeah. Right. That's right. <laughs> Okay, we have to go for the Burning Elite. Fortunately, we can get four Elites with Black Star this act. I guess I should have taken the Fusion Hammer, because there is literally no fires. We'll get an upgrade next act. Whatever. Sure. And I have to fight the Awakened One, but that's a story for another day. Or something. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yes, I would like orb slots, please. Amazing. Second glacier. Take one more. That was a decent barrage as well. So, Awakened One is dangerous to us, Time X, because that boss gains two points of strength every time we play a power card, which is all of our cards. The Awakened One will have a lot of strength. A big, big lot of strength. That said, I do expect a relatively easy time in that fight. Think. Hope. Wanna believe. Echo Form and Amplify kind of compete with one another in some ways. We've definitely seen it be a dead card already. I want to double algorithm before I kill them all. There we go. Hey, Midnight Heart. And NUO. Zippity zoopity. Blessing of the Forge could upgrade everything in hand. A couple decent upgrades we could get from that. Blizzard would be good in this deck, potentially. We can channel quite a few Frost Orbs. Blizzard would be a really good way to help uh, beat Awakened One, actually, Yolo Swag 420. Although, so could Barrage be. 
and we don't have to worry about lightning orbs. We just channel a bunch of frost and block and play barrage over and over again. It's not bad. No capes. All right. Fair enough. 12 gold for a stinky red mask. I'm out. <laughs> Whetstone. Hmm. Hmm. What will Whetstone upgrade, I wonder? Upgrade our blue key here. It's this We have no attacks for Whetstone to upgrade. We'll not pick it up. Shaded. Interesting that it's allowed to spawn if you have no attacks. Now we just draw those same cards again. I'll try to. Turbo amplify electrodynamics. Want to get really silly? Let's get really silly. Choose to amplify echo form. First two cards each turn are played twice. Got him. Oh, we got the scroll bar! The legendary scroll bar! On the reward screen, money, two relics, bag of marbles plus boat thingy, a potion, and a card reward. Easy peasy. Hey, Mr. McVanface, you have walked into perhaps the best defect run of all time. You mean that, truly. Oh no, we're being exploded on. Mummy Hand is still a possible find, uh, David E. We have yet to see it.
Hocus Potion. Very good. More Frost Orbs, maybe. Definitely take a Focus Pod over an Explosive Pod, though. Really good potion to carry to the heart. We got three more elites. Oh, we have so many chances to find Mummy Hand here. We're gonna get seven additional relics, plus looking at a shop. Good lord. Any advice for Ironclad? So we're trying to get an A win with him and build up those essential levels. Ironclad is a character that is fully capable of winning without ever blocking. Uh, I think his offensive options are a lot better than his defensive ones most of the time. So a couple of quick tips of advice. Try removing defends early instead of your strike cards. Try taking and upgrading some attack cards and uh, try prioritizing sources of strength, whatever they might be. Go offense. We have not seen calipers either. We're going to get a lot more relics. I'm hoping there's going to be some good ones in there. Let's leave this cool headed on the ground. That's right, sometimes the only block card you need is feed. Indeed, the feed. Leave that unplayed for the moment. I really like that we have the emotion chip, because we can just kind of abuse it. Since we healed so much anyway. Yeah, that'll get us a double algorithm. If I stop playing here. Incense Burner gives us intangibility every six turns. Prayer Wheel means more card rewards from normal enemies. Maybe an incentive to, uh, well, at least get two card rewards here. And another copy of Heat Sinks. How much has Urn healed so far? 106. And that's only because that's the hit points we've been missing. It would heal a lot more than that if we were missing more health. It's true, I, I think the the high roll potential from the question mark is quite good. Take that heat sinks. So I'm I'm strongly considering here. Ocean after every combat. Strongly considering here going to the event over the combat, but the white beast dent or the prayer wheel does speak, I think, to taking the thing. You do indeed need a mod for the relic stats. It's called appropriately enough Relic Stats, the mod. You can find it on the Steam Workshop. We really need more cards, though. Yeah, we need more powers. But uh, let's let's take a let's take a question mark. See what we get. It was a fight. Okay, so they were both the same. Ultimately, fair enough. Fair enough. I don't think we need to level algorithm that much anymore. <laughs> it seems fine. Play it regular style. Bam. 
chance at a frost orb. We said no attacks, though. It's say no attacks. Wicked memories to get back. Amplify? like the weak potion a lot. Okay, yeah, we'll lose the swift pot. Second panache? Hmm. I definitely like a second copy of Storm here. Pocket Watch could be interesting if we play three or fewer cards on our turn, draw three additional cards at the start of the next turn. I doubt we're ever going to do that, though. Really. Especially with two heat sinks. Is there anything I would remove? Maybe auto shields? We could remove auto shields. We can remove auto shields. Reinforced body could be okay. Although it feels like I don't have an excess of energy. Certainly Pendim does nothing. But yeah, let's take Storm and I'll take the second Panache. Again, just to have two zero cost powers in the deck. Let's get rid of that stinky auto shields. Played it a couple times. Hey, Alight. Yes, I appreciate you pointing that out. Uh, somebody else did mention that yesterday. Probably make some time on the weekend to uh, to fix all of the wrong YouTube titles that I have made throughout the year. Oops. Cool, we got one more shop coming up. Let's just uh, save the cash for there. Recursion could do stuff, especially if it was an upgraded recursion, which is zero cost. We could do some really broken stuff with that. But, I don't have the ability to upgrade it, so no. Still hard to get that Echo form in play. Sync's not in play currently. This way. Four frost orbs, please. And evoke them. Turn more energy on turn one. Another defragment, or another glacier. Take one more defrag. Probably can't upgrade it though. Full panache. Let's just seek the Algo. Call it a day. Crunch. Right, Majong, and not, not only do we get to heal back Beat of Death, but when we take damage from Beat of Death, all our orbs are going to go off again from the emotion chip. Seems a little unfair. The 
their power potion's good. Chance at cool headed, hyper beam is cute. More orb slots. We're good. We are. I like I like this particular set of potions as well. Block for 100. Or move, sir. Healing! <laughs> Unnecessary healing. Ooh, and more orbs are rainbow. I'll take a rainbow. A lot of orbs. Now to recall here, all right, it's time for the Awakened One. This big bad bird gains more strength every time we play a power card. Definitely going to be a bit of an obstacle to us. I think it's just going to need to be a very quick fight as a result. So we play all the powers. Yeah, of course. Bias Cog turn one, let's go. Scary number? No prob. Okay, we are going to draw into turbo so we can play echo form. Yeah, somebody asked why Awakened One is dangerous. This number is why Awakened One is dangerous. This number right here, officer. But keep going. Yes. Is this going to be enough damage? Exact block. Like you do. I'm intangible next turn.
Okay. Yeah, no problem. Easy peasy or whatever. <laughs> Who's next? Didn't even have to use a potion in that fight. And sure, we took some damage, but whatever, right? <laughs> Seems fine to me. This should be a pretty short fight as well. Oh, my hand was full. No! Oh no, now the emotion chip's gonna go off. Uh oh. Pray to your gods, don't you, Indeka? Two, three, four, exact lethal, meaning incense burner is on the correct number. Gee. To thump, to thump, to thump, a deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. This part of the spire, the source of all these powers. Charge your heat sinks to their maximum deal in 23-25. And we still get a shop. We have 400 gold enough to buy any one relic there. And we actually get to upgrade something. Possibly... No, 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 no. This one, right? Definitely this one. Okay, yeah. No, uh, no calipers, no mummified hand, but orange pellets will do just fine. Whenever we play, wait a minute. Attack? <laughs> Hold on a minute. Wait a second. <laughs> we have no attack cards. No, it doesn't do anything. No. <laughs> just, just buy this one. This attack. This is a cheap, easy attack to incorporate. <laughs> this is a good one. Thunderstrike is hella powerful. If there was going to be any attack in this deck, this would be the right one. Deal 7 damage to a random enemy for each lightning that we have channeled this combat. Pretty good at busting through the heart, too. Truthfully. I kind of dig it. Sorely tempted. Could also just go with some more uh, max HP on the mango. Consume is not bad here, although the lack of upgrade on it really hurts. Wants an Nobody wants me attacking stuff? Alright. Right. Go uh, mango loop then, I think. Or no, I can't afford the loop. We're two gold short! Alright, mango hologram. A little bit of dupe pot. A dupe pot would be very good. Yep. Yeah. I'm leaving it on the ground. See, here's the kind of turn one you like. This is this is brilliant. We're just gonna leave that echo form oh alone. Two block algorithm, by the way. Oh, 
Alright, pretty good turn one. I did fail the uh, incense burner because of that. Or the heart, I guess, but I think we'll be fine. Akabeko makes our first... Sorry, what? First... I think I've ever seen this word before. At ak. What's that mean? Hmm. Weird. Is that the sound we make when the cow goes off? Ark! This is an a ack. It's right there. Powerful. All right, Mr. Hart. Let's go. We've got the uh, toy ornithopter too, so we might want to time our potions a little bit here. But we also might not. Honestly, nothing wrong with being intangible on this turn, yeah? Nothing at all. I know, with a Thunderstrike, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> if only. I do have a dupe pot. I think I'm in a dupe pot echo form. Maybe amplify next turn or something. Yeah, no way to draw cards this turn. It's okay. Get Hello World down. Some liquid memory is the turbo if I need to. Yeah, let's do that. I should use the focus potion before I started doing that. One at the five health. Yeah, yeah, order. Fine. Definitely play this one. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so we have double Echo Form in play. Our first two cards played each turn happen twice. Would like to take a little bit of damage to the heart here. that we can get uh, lightning orbs from the Static Discharge. This would be overkill. Bring it! supposed to make a frost orb here. Hold on, we can keep going though. It's not there. Got the panache still, but we're well well over the damage cap here. I'll block for 200. Sound good? And then let's double this. That's so much card draw, man. Get him.
I dare say that is a GG. GG. Hey, hey everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Did you know that I'm live five days a week on Twitch? Come join us to watch me live, ask questions, or chill with the community. Click the link in the description below to follow and be notified when I'm live. And while you're down there, make like a sandwich and sub to this channel for more fresh Baylor content. Ta-ta for now.